There's some scrap. Something about sitting next to you It doesn't even matter what we do I feel your pull and you're nearby You know that my life is chaos But when I touch you the spinning just stops Then it's you and me It's all loaded up. Ta-da! Pulled up to my house to kick this stuff off into my little scrap area. Paul, you're a hoarder. Look at that scrap mess. What? Who cleaned up my area? So here's my thoughts. Aluminum crutches. Um, aluminum and then steel stuff. Steel. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Now, before anybody asks, that church uh, is the main church in the area that accepts donations of medical type stuff like walkers and wheelchairs and crutches and stuff. And this is probably one tenth of what they get in. So 90% of it uh, is in really good shape and it goes back to um, the community. There's something I wanted to ask you, ask your opinion on. You know that I pick up rotors from uh, from an automotive place and they're, they're a chain. They're uh, an automotive chain that, um, and they're pretty popular. They're, they're a big chain, big national brand. And I've been picking up their rotors for two years now. Rotors and rims and and shocks and whatever. And they got a new regional manager. And so my buddy, the one that I met actually trash picking his house, <laughs> um, he, uh, he said that his regional manager says that uh, they need to start charging for scrap pickups. So... I don't know if I want to buy scrap. What do you think? Here's here's what they proposed. It was twenty dollars per pickup. And what what's problematic is that do I do I let this stuff pile up in their shop for two weeks and then make a mass pickup, which isn't cool to the mechanics because it creates a mess in their workshop where they're trying to do work. Um, or should I tell them like monthly, I'll pay you $80 a month or, you know, because it's about three, maybe $400 worth of scrap every month that I get. All right, so aluminum, aluminum. This is aluminum. That's some like heavy breakage aluminum. And then this is the steel stuff. Magnet sticks to all that. So that'll get added to, yeah, gonna throw away some of this plastic that came along with it. Yeah, you know, I'm in the mood to go street scrapping. What is that thing? It's metal. It's mystery metal. Yay. Is it a sink? But it's heavy. and smack. But Paul, that
that stainless steel. That's rust. That ain't stainless. <laughs> no. Nope. I say another 45 minutes of sunlight. <laughs> yeah, they use the paper towel method for garage door openers as well. It was definitely a warm day loading up those uh, crutches and whatnot. Yeah, quite warm. Thanks for the paper towel. I yield for scrap? I think not. I block driveways for scrap. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're gonna go north, buddy. Yeah, you might have water in you. <laughs> A lot of times when water heaters like this um, go bad, the bottoms rust out. So it doesn't uh, doesn't roll right. Doesn't roll to, to my liking. Quite down. Just trying to sing a song. All right, let's get a rope. So real quick, a bowling knot. I use my left hand and just wrap it around for my pinky over. Then I got this. That. I take the other end and I go, <laughs> sounds goofy. The rabbit goes out of the hole around the tree, back down the hole. Then I grab it from down here and it has this particular look to it. And that is a bowling knot. There's a lot better um, tutorials on YouTube, that's for sure. I'm gonna lasso this over. Mm, yeah, that'll work. Maybe. Yeah, it does. And then I'm going to do a clove hitch. So clove hitch, see how this is to the left? And then I'm gonna go over and then this will go through the center. And the telltale sign is when this one goes over both of these and we're good yes it's not going anywhere oh yeah you have to say that at the end of tying something down that's not going anywhere man he's got a good scrap load going all right i guess i can change neighborhoods now wait a minute oh buddy that scrapper is going to change neighborhoods i'm going to stay on target stay on target we're too close stay on target <laughs> what is this 
Looks like a scrapper care package to me. Oh, that's good. Y'all are awesome. I'll even, oh, no, this is the recycle bin. Perfect. <laughs> this gets me all excited. That's different vehicles, for sure. Reminds me, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the rotors. And here, here's, here's the thing that's catching me up. The price of scrap fluctuates so much. You know, seven, eight, nine, ten cents a pound, or fifteen cents a pound. But if I'm getting charged, let's say per month, per pickup, it's a fixed expense. And the scrap isn't um, going in. It was never destined for the uh, uh, the landfill or anything like that. So, which is kind of my thing, is intercepting metal before it hits the landfill. Guys are awesome. When I see a free sign, yeah, it gets my attention. I see wire. Probably 20, 30 videos ago, I got some stuff from this guy and he just bought this property. And we were walking back there and got some aluminum and things. What might be free here? what this is that winter's coming so that'd be a good uh, oh, wool hat that's a maybe <laughs> rest this no I'm not really an e-waste guy but I won't take the wire Wait a minute. 45s? Yes. My happiness. Um what can I give? I don't know who that is. Yeah, these are all 45s, okay. Coming with me. blades What's this? It's heavy. Heavy means good, right? Candles. Oh, it smells wonderful. Argon oil, mango butter, hemp seed oil. I'm not grabbing it, but it smells great. Saponify? Soap making supplies. Hmm. I guess it's soap, it's not candles. What is this, more soap making supplies? It's hair color. Lightning powder? <laughs> What's lightning powder? Oh, you need to Google everything you touch. You need to know everything about everything all the time. I'm dumping stuff over. I'm gonna be doing that. All right, sawzall blades. Sawzall, sawzall, sawzall blades. Soap me. for Renee would be interested in this. Maybe. Thank you for the 45s. That's a Ford Ranger. 
see a fire pit. I think it's copper. I'm gonna bring my magnet with me. The last copper fire pit I got $10 for. Oh, I can't even. I think I broke my fingernails off, but I got my magnet back. Hey, can I block two driveways? Yeah. I think they're still using it. Gotta make a little bit of room. This little grease trap here. I want to get all over my gloves. Hey, thanks. Yeah, thanks for putting it out at the curb. I appreciate it. Um, I don't even know where I'm gonna put it. Right here. Yeah, I think so. start to buckle and not actually roll. Have a good night. Let's go ahead and pick this up in the morning. Good morning. It's the next morning and I want to take some of this bulky stuff off the truck just in case I find a whole bunch of stuff scrapping today. Okay, never mind. I took everything off put it into my savings account. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. You have a good day. Stay productive. I don't think I've run across a blatant, flagrant, awesome find like this. This looks like a setup. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna go in there and get grabbed by something. Really? Just a big box of copper? Wait a minute. You wanna ride up front? All right. She knows how I checked it with the magnet. Hmm. Because you never know. Wow. Copper in the trash can. Should that be my the title to the video? Copper in the trap. Okay, what is that? A dirter. What is that? <laughs> That's probably the reason. Now, this looks like steel. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's steel. A tool? It's a rivet. So 
sweet. Better grab this before I forget. Let's check out this dumpster real quick. 30 yard. Ooh. Serious, look at all that wood. Tires aren't flat. The chain's missing. Hmm. Get in my truck. Some chicky nuggets. seat. What hey is up, my brother? It's September already. Holy mm. cow. Yeah, yeah man. man. Did you get, you have your hoodie ready? Oh and my gosh. Yeah, I know. You always debate on whether you're putting shorts on now or not. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, there's still mosquitoes out. Um, yeah, so we're going to get zapped no matter what. Yeah, we usually get so much of a hurricane out by our house that mosquitoes all blow away to the neighbors. Oh, so, uh, we're all good out there. And my roof. <laughs> yeah. Dude, how's construction coming along on your house? We got, uh, I got a crew coming tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. Really? We were all kind of like, mm, 6 o'clock, I don't know, but I mean, you know, it's supposed to rain again tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So that's what happened last time. We got Do you have a roof on it yet? No. Okay. We put the we put five trusses up, and then that's when we had that torrential sideways downpour. That yeah. Last Saturday. Yeah, that was. The, I've never seen rain like that. I've been in a lot of situations, especially like in the Coast Guard when I was in the Caribbean. You know, gnarly storms. The one on Sunday, that 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 was that was up there, dude. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like flash flood instantly. Yeah. I mean, it's like as soon as we get into rain, all of a sudden everything's you underwater. You know, I had my my electric bike under a tarp. Uh -huh. and and held down and um it rained underneath my tarp so much completely drenched the electric bike and filled my tote full of water yeah and people are like how can you don't drill holes in the bottom of your totes oh to God. drain the water i'm do like not do that and i'm like well for one <laughs> it was it was tarped yeah. you know and uh, this is this uh, yeah. yeah but luckily the bike still works i'm like Oh, that would have been terrible if it had ruined the electric bike. Yeah. Well, like we were talking about in the interview, man, when all these people drill holes in their yard waste cans, I'm like, why would you even do that? That doesn't even make any sense. The branches just get stuck in them. Yeah. And all the wetness just pours down my leg when I go to dump the can. You know? Yeah, and not only that, but they get plugged up. Yeah, yeah you know? it doesn't do anything. Yeah, they'll... All, uh, all it does is make the can weaker. Yeah. And then it just gets me all wet. <laughs> you know, it... So many ideas seem good until we actually do them. Right. You know, and then it's like, oh, this doesn't work for this mildly unforeseen reason, but still people believe that all of these ideas are going to be amazing. Right. And it's like, uh, most ideas actually don't work. And they, you know? Yeah, and then they say, well, I did it to help you. It's yeah. like, well, you didn't help me by making your stuff go all down my way. Yeah. That didn't help at all. Yeah. But, I, but I've never seen anywhere where it says to do that. So yeah. I don't know where that even comes from. You know, just but people buy a brand new can, they'll put like 500 holes in it. Yeah. I'm like, I've never seen that online well, or in the paper or nothing. I mean, I, I get the, the general gist that they think, okay, water will drain out, it'll be lighter, it'll be dry, uh, and it doesn't happen. But there, there's one there's one that's over a couple streets over here. They have holes this big all the way around the top. So what? I'm like, is that for ventilation? What's that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It could be. When you yeah. go to dump it, all the branches get stuck in the holes on the way out. Yeah, so yeah. then you're trying to pluck all the branches out or whatever. <laughs> but, but you got a pretty empty load back here. What are you doing? Are you slacking off today or what? Dude, well, <laughs> I emptied two loads yesterday um, for evening scrapping. Yeah. And so, yeah, this is just the, the morning. Yeah. So. Is that, is that like a decorative bike there or something? What? Cool. No, dude, that's a, that's a that's the new kind of bike. Yeah. All right, that's an ice bike. Is that what it is? <laughs> no, yeah. I, it, it looks it looks cool, but it looks like something that would be downtown chained to the you know out downtown. Yeah. Got all those ones are. I think I might paint it scrap and palette man colors, man. Yeah, why not, man? Yeah. Put it down the top, man. All right. Sticking up like that. 
Dude, have, have the, see, now that's a good idea. Have the wheels spinning and stuff see, like that. <laughs> I have so many bad ideas. That's a good one. <laughs> put the little, put those little LED lights on there. Yeah, yeah. You really get some attention then. <laughs> have a great day, hey, man. man. All Stay right. Safe out there. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm gonna drop this bicycle off at my shop because I don't want to get mashed. Automatic height adjustment. What brand are you? Lightning Power. Looks like it was already purchased at a yard sale for 20 bucks. Or something like that. Insulated copper wire. Whoa. Is uh, 60 cents per pound. <laughs> In uh, my last video, people were getting upset because I was halfway through a story and I see some squirrel and I start talking about that. I never finished my story. Yeah, that's very common with the attention deficit sanguine type folks. Yeah, we're entertaining and mildly frustrating. Yeah, we also frustrate ourselves. Whoa, oh dear. That's not trash. Metal. Why, yes. Oh, can't quite reach it. Okay. Not, <laughs> not gonna do the drive-by scrap this time. But thank you for leaving it out. put the whole grill in here? I think you did. All right. I normally don't do this, but it was the battery that fell out. A lot of work. <laughs> no one wanted the bed? Uh, neighbors. Neighbors. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the metal. Yeah, the garbage man is on the street. So this will be in the trash truck in no time. Ooh, that's kind of heavy. Mm. this on the curb it's a magna it's a scrapper I think it's seen its usefulness <laughs> sounds like it's a uh, still rideable Me to open my tailgate first before I grab the scrap. Ooh. What 
What's up, UPS man? Ooh, that has seen better days. Wow, that is cleared out. <laughs> All right. I think we can do something with it. going here. Wow. It's like Velcro scrap. frustrated with all the scrap in the back and I'm trying to use the snap tool it's not working <laughs> so I call up snap tool the scrap snap app customer service I'm like what is going on snap tool is not working I am paid up with my subscription they said do you know someone named Juan in Texas I'm like yeah that's a Texan picker I said well your scrap snap app is open and you know can't be open in two places <laughs> I'm like really so anyway, she closed it out and she said, Mr. Paul, you are eligible for the mobile version of the snap tool. And I'm like, really? What, what do you mean the mobile version? She said, under 30 miles an hour, if you snap your fingers, a little bit under 30 miles an hour, it's supposed to just work. See? So, I, uh, I'm not sure if it worked or not. Let's... Let's take a quick peek. Really? Bowling knot? Clove hitch? Are you kidding me? Snap Tool 2023 beta version with the mobile upgrade? What kind of bird is that? I'll bet it's a partridge. I just got a text from my friend, and he says he has a washing machine in his driveway. Wow. You have to take this roof off and uh, raise that up so you don't have to duck down. So you're saying the dollhouse was just this high? Yeah, it was about, it was about as tall as that. Uh, Peter, okay. All right. So we get to talking and joking about it, and alcohol had nothing to do with it. We were, we were already goofy. All right, all right. And he goes, you know, he said we could put a playhouse above this thing. And I got to think of my grandfather used to be on the board of Chicago Great Western. Okay. And I said, you know, we could uh, do a, a replicate the uh, switchyard uh, depot. With the top of this thing. Is that a train or is train. it a, okay? Switch yards. Right. The track master. Right, right. He watches the trains comes in and moves all the switches. Okay. And we get the more we got talking about it when we started setting up and doing it. Oh, and this is all cedar. Yeah, it's all cedar. Wow. Yeah, because I, I can smell it. Well, we, we just put a uh, coating on it and uh, so and, re and resealed everything. You have a deck on the back? Well, that that was there when I had the playhouse. Okay. And he goes, you know, I said, we could just tie these two things together. And the thing just evolved into adult stupidity. <laughs> he just kept going and going? Just kept going and going. Would, would you live up here?
It smells amazing in here. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, don't try loading that. Seriously. That my bed right here and a dresser. I'm good. Yeah. So it's ready to come apart, huh? All right. I'm just gonna tip it over so I can kick it out of the at the scrapyard. This thing's been repaired a couple times, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah, they they made them well back then. All right, let's go hit the scrap here. <laughs> this scrap has been sitting here for two weeks. You are getting recycled. Is that just plastic? Yes. I'm going to guess not very much. I'm going to guess six thousand eight hundred. Six thousand nine hundred. Can I make it through here? I think I can. Ooh. That was a Kansas City something. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna make it through here. Not with two trucks. Nope. No way. I've never actually went that way before. So yeah, that didn't work. So I, I'm, I'm gonna back up over here where junk removal dudes were. Yep. Should have just waited. I'll be quick, but it takes time to untie. All right, wish me luck. The craw's broken. The craw? It's washing machines. 
has uh, definitely seen better days. That stuff wants to bonk me, I can tell. You need to look where you're throwing that stuff, Paul. Oh yeah. Uh, Oops. Think I can land on the washing machine? I think I can. Almost. See, I told you it wanted to get me. Shoelace. Wow. Like a scrap snow shovel. get out first wow these dudes are selling scrap it's all galvanized mostly the top layer anyway Take a look. I see six four four zero. And it was six nine zero zero. So sixty nine weighing in, sixty four forty going out. You know, I had a moment and I was like, what is it, 6440? Yeah. So I'm glad we agree on that. We do. How you doing, Michael? Good, good. How's, uh, how's, how are your philosophies? Good. All I'm right. I'm busy over here running around, man. What? It's been a busy day. Dude, it's Friday. Any plans? Plans, yeah. To clear out my yard later on and so bring in all my scrap. <laughs> what? Obvious, yeah, though. well, it's a uh, yeah, the clearness of the area. Nice, the feng shui. Yeah, if, yeah, I need to feng shui my yard. Nice, cool, <laughs> All right, hmm. thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the scrap. Thank you for recycling. Thank you for cool people. Definitely, and Lord, I'm gonna pray specifically for uh, for protection protection of those that are feeling grumpy 
protection for those that are feeling aggressive because sometimes I feel aggressive and grumpy and uh, sometimes I feel like lashing out. And I'm gonna ask that you remove that. You give me, you give us that spirit of gentleness. And I'm not talking about passiveness, passivity. I'm talking about being gentle and being strong in spirit uh, through you in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, let's go over these numbers. $150 a net ton, which is seven and a half cents per pound, 460 pounds. That's just for this. Obviously I got copper and my yard is just full again. Um, so $34 and 50 cents for, uh, for this load. So that's gonna get turned into eggs and bread and cheese and milk and whatnot yeah but like michael said i need to feng shui my backyard so but i'll leave that up to uh the teenagers and the twin teenagers to uh to clear that out it's um it works <laughs> check this out yesterday the youngest uh he's in ninth grade says hey can i get my allowance early and we give him a small allowance uh, just so he has a little bit of pocket money and um i said no and he, you know gets a little bit upset but i'm thinking how can i how can i cleverly use this for something and, and i like doing something that's going to benefit the other person not benefit me per se it can but that, that's not the goal and so i asked him i said write a paragraph of what money is because he's asking for his allowance early uh, write what you think money is and I wanted a paragraph I wanted to have a, a beginning sentence I want to have three supporting sentences and a conclusion if not more supporting sentences and uh, make that that conclusion sentence powerful so uh, so he did it he wrote out a paragraph um, I don't remember ever seeing his penmanship before he has perfect penmanship and i was really surprised i made him pen and paper not not text it or email it to me um and i was really impressed and i told him how impressed i was all of his spelling was perfect um and it was it was cool because it it impressed me more than i was expecting I was delivered something more than I expected. So, um, I don't know what, what else to say. I, I was impressed and we, we had a moment that I don't think would have happened if I would have just said, okay, you can have your allowance a day early. Because today's Friday and he asked it for, for it on Thursday evening. Um, so, anyway, I like having the kids to do something that's going to benefit someone else, benefit themselves. And I always tell them, I said, serve your future or serve others, always. That, that is what we're to do, not leisure activities. Now, I'm not talking about relaxation. You know, we all need that. I'm talking about having days on end of just chilling. Mm -mm. That, that's the surest way to poverty. I mean, I even was telling them that in the Bible, it says that, um, you know, a little sleep and a little slumber and a little crossing of the arms and poverty will come over you like a vagabond. Like, like a, like, have you ever been like bum rushed at a convenience store of someone that like, hey, you have some spare change? You know, that's, that's the type of rushing in that poverty will happen if we just chill all the time. And I tell them that. Um, another thing that came up yesterday, someone got mad at one of the teenagers at a store and I said, it's not coming from me. This is coming from the Bible that blessed are those that allow an offense. If someone does something that's mildly offensive, the, the street in me wants to immediately stand up and say, no, you, you're not doing that to me. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to be that strong person. That's my natural self. The supernatural, what the Bible says is, you know what? 
just allow just allow an offense and they're not talking about a, abuse or anything like that we're talking about someone bumping into you someone saying something off um, just allow that thanks for hanging out with me I have no idea why I just went off on that but that's all the preaching I'm gonna do today <laughs>